Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to apply the select and rename functions of the deep liar package in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples rely on the data that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of our code. So if you run these three lines of code you will see that at the top right of our studio a new data object appears and we can also have a look at this data object by running line 5 of the code and then you can see here at the bottom in the RStudio console that our example data consists of three rows and three columns. Now if we want to apply the select and rename functions of the deep liar package we also need to install and load the package and this is what we can do with the lines 7 and 8 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 8 of the code. And then afterwards we can apply the select function as you can see in line 10. So within the select function we need to specify the name of our data that we want to use. So in this case our example data frame is called data. Then we have to write a comma. And then afterwards, we need to specify which of the variables we want to extract from our original data. So in this example, I'm going to extract the columns x1 and x3 from our original data frame. So if you run this line of code, you will see that a new data frame appears at the bottom in the RStudio console. And this data frame is a subset of our original data frame which contains only the columns x1 and x3. Now the second function I want to show you in this tutorial is the rename function. And the rename function can be used to change the names of certain variables of our data frame. And within the rename function we again need to specify the name of our data frame. Then we have to write a comma and then we have to specify the new variable name that we want to use and then we have to specify which of our original variables should be renamed with this new name. So in this case I'm going to replace the variable name of the variable x1 by the new name x1 new. So if you run line 12 of the code, you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, a new data frame is returned. And this data frame has exactly the same values as our original data frame. But in this case, the column name of the first column is x1 new. Yeah, so that's basically what I wanted to show you in this video. However, if you want to learn more, about the select and rename functions of the deep liar package in R, then you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in, in which I am describing the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of this video so you could check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some feedback in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future whenever I'm releasing new R tutorials. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.